video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here and welcome to another episode of the 2025 Career Mode Series. And today, we're looking at another one of the up-and-coming players in the world of football. It's a goalkeeper this time, and he's the future England number one, surely, with the way he's going. It's Jack Butler. Yes, the Stoke goalkeeper has been actually absolutely superb this season. He's put in some brilliant performances at times, and he's pulled off many, many clean sheets this season. One incredible performance against Newcastle, which... Trust me, I'd fucking know of. Can't deny the guy has been absolutely great this season and he's really starting to show some real promise. He has a very high potential in FIFA 16 and he's living up to it at the moment. And this is no knock against Stoke, but if you put this man in a team with a slightly better defense, he may not have to deal with as much, but he would be one of the more supreme goalkeepers in the Premier League. And I'm pretty sure he probably thinks the same. I mean, have a look at that face. It just screams, I'm sick of these motherfucking defenders. But let's take a look at this man's stats. This man's rating, 78 rated. He was 77 at the start of FIFA 16. Same with his potential, which was also 87 at the start. Now it's 78 overall and 88 potential. And these are his stats. He's got 80 diving, 77 handling and positioning, 75 kicking, and his best stat, his 85 goalkeeping reflexes. Incredible stuff right there. He's very tall too. Seven, or should I say six foot five, which is great. Two, uh, 22 years of age too, quite young. Right footed with the traditional save, save style. Three star weak foot. And once again, 78 rated, 88 potential. One of the higher potential goalkeepers in the game. If his already extremely high potential wasn't enough to want to make you buy this player, then his real-life performances right now are, here we go, Jack Butlin in his first season. This time around, no growth. And this is the thing, with younger goalkeepers at the start of career modes, this is going to happen with a lot of players that we do, just down the track in 2025 with these younger goalkeepers. Sometimes they will take a little bit longer because it's this thing with goalkeepers. They seem to get much, much better toward the end of career mode. I mean, you remember last year when so many absolutely random old goalkeepers got ridiculously good. It's a little it's a little bit like that this year. Maybe not as crazy this time around, but still. Let's see. How do we go in the second season? Does he get a little bit of growth this time? Yes, we do. It's plus one. And it's the physical and the mental attributes that are the only ones that seem to be going up. I'm looking at his goalkeeping stats. Nothing's being indicated. And I can tell just off the top of my head, there's only five stats we have to remember and nothing has gone up. Still the 80 diving, still the 77 handling and positioning, still 75 kicking, still 85 reflexes. Nothing has actually gone up, including or, you know, regarding his goalkeeping stats. But either way, one increase. There you go. But now it's time to see in his third season if he's been able to go back to back. Can he increase once more? Can he do it, Jack Butlin? It's not to be this time, unfortunately. Just one overall increase this time. That's a bit sad, but either way, uh, it's just that's just how it is. When we're not doing any player training, for any of these players in the 2025 career mode, this is obviously probably going to happen. You can play a train uh, your goalkeepers heaps, and they can grow up even at the you know that 80 rating. They can really grow quite fast if you put in a lot of time with them. But sadly, this time that's not what we're doing, and it's just plus one to his overall this time around. He still has the exact same stats and the exact same attribute number uh, total, which yeah. But either way, we're just going to put that behind us because we're now going to go all the way to 2025. We're going to see what he's like when he's fulfilled his potential, if he's fulfilled his potential. I definitely want to see this guy at a high rating. Can he do it, Jack Butlin? Let's go. So here we are, 2025. Jack Butlin, one of the most obvious goalkeeping pickup choices in FIFA 16 career mode. Has he been able to live up to the hype and the potential? What's his rating in 2025? It's 88 rated. At 32 years of age, he's hit his potential. He's had a real spark of growth there right toward the, la the later stage of his career. 32 years of age now and 88 rated and still growing. Look at the goalkeeping attributes. They've gone up by plus three and plus two, and yet he somehow didn't get an overall increase. Surely he'd be about 89 or 90 right about now, but either way, that's it. Yeah, he grew by one in the three seasons, the first three seasons, and in the last seven, he absolutely smashed it to get to his potential. That's hilarious. But either way, 88 rated. He got to his potential. And you know how it is with goalkeepers. They could get to 35 and still be growing. It really could be even better for Butlin. He could get to that 90 rating and I don't doubt that he would if we continued on. But this is only to 2025. But there you go. Jack Butlin. He's just, oh, brilliant stuff. Absolutely superb. And he's got brilliant stats. Imagine him 6 foot 5 with those stats. He'd be superb between the sticks. But that's another 2025 Crimo video done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave in the comments down below your suggestions for the next 2025 Crimo video. And until then, my name's Master Bucks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.